What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya, and in today's lesson, we're going to focus on the CAE exam and look at 10 mistakes that students usually make when taking this exam. It's going to be a kind of quiz, so take a pen and a piece of paper to write down your answers. Are you ready? So, let's begin! First, I'm going to give you 10 sentences with one mistake in each. You're going to correct these mistakes and after that, we're going to check them together. Most of the mistakes come from the book that I recommend you to use if you're studying for the CAE exam. It's called Common Mistakes at CAE and How to Avoid Them. You'll find a link in the description box. So let's start. The first sentence is She gave me a good advice. Look at the sentence, find the mistake, and write it down. Let's move on to our second sentence. I was worried about if everything was going to turn out okay. The same. Find the mistake and correct it. Number three. This situation is wholly unacceptable. The same. Where's the mistake in the sentence? Be very careful. Let's continue. Number four, Tom's success is owing to his hard work. Find and correct the mistake in this sentence. Let's move on to our sentence number five. We spent such a great time at the concert yesterday. Find the mistake, correct it and write it down. Let's continue. Number six, I won't probably go to the party. Look carefully and find the mistake in this sentence. Number seven, don't forget to pay for the rent today. Find the mistake, be careful and write it down. So how are you doing? Let's move on to our sentence number eight. There is such a big variety of cakes in this cafe. Find the mistake and correct it. Second to last sentence, there is an urgent need of drinking water in many places. Look carefully and find the mistake. And last but not least, I'm writing to complain about the unsatisfactory service received in your establishment. So find the mistake in this sentence and now we're going to correct all the mistakes together. So let's look at the first sentence. The correct sentence is she gave me some good advice. It's not correct to say a good advice because unlike in Spanish, in English, advice is uncountable. So we can't say an advice or a good advice. We have to say some good advice or we can also say a good piece of advice, but we need piece. The same happens with news, some good news, or the news is, or the news was. Let's move on to our sentence number two. The correct answer is, I was worried about whether everything was going to turn out okay. So we need to use whether, after, about, and not if. Why? Because after a preposition, it's not correct to use if and we need to use whether. Another example, I'm interested in whether there are any vacancies for next weekend. Let's continue. Number three, this situation is wholly unacceptable. In this sentence, there was a spelling mistake in unacceptable. It's spelled with double C. Let's look at some tricky words with double letters. For example, accommodation, double C and double M. Another word is committee, double M, double T and double E. Another word is occurrence, double C and double R. And one more, unnecessarily, double N and double S. Let's continue number four. The correct sentence is Tom's success is due to his hard work. We need to use due to and not owing to or 
because of. Why? Because if we have the verb to be, Tom's success is. So after the verb to be, we need to use due to and not owing to or because of. Another example, the traffic jam was due to an accident. Here, due to presents the reason for the noun traffic jam. Another example where we can use owing to or because of, the flight was cancelled owing to or because of fog. In this case, it's correct to use owing to or because of because the verb is to cancel, was cancelled. So in this case, because of presents the reason for the action, cancelled. Let's continue the correct sentence number five is we had such a great time at the concert yesterday. With time, the correct collocation is the verb to have, to have a good time or to have a great time, but it's not correct to say to spend a good time. Let's continue our sentence number six. I probably won't go to the party. Here the mistake is with the position of the adverb of certainty. So adverbs of certainty go before negative modal verbs. So if the sentence is positive, it's correct to say I will probably go to the party. But if the sentence is negative, probably goes before a modal verb. It would be I probably won't go to the party. Another example, I definitely won't miss this opportunity. Let's continue the correct sentence number seven is don't forget to pay the rent today. The mistake was with the preposition for. In this case, it's not correct to say to pay for. It's just to pay the rent. Why? We use for to pay for something when we talk about a purchase. For example, how much did you pay for the plane tickets? But we don't use for, we just say to pay something, when we talk about money which is owed. For example, when we talk about bills or taxes. For example, I pay my taxes religiously. In this case, it's not correct to say pay for my taxes, it's just to pay my taxes. Let's continue our correct sentence number eight is there is a wide variety of cakes in this cafe. So here the mistake was with the adjective. It's a collocation. It's not correct to say a big variety, but a wide variety. We use the adjective wide when we talk about variety, range or choice. Second to last sentence, number nine, there is an urgent need for drinking water in many places. So the correct preposition that we need to use after need is for. As you know, prepositions are quite tricky in English. More often than not, you need to memorize what preposition you have to use after a specific verb, adjective or noun. I have a quiz on prepositions, so if you want to test your knowledge, you can find it right here. And the last sentence I am writing to complain about the unsatisfactory service received in your establishment. The mistake here is to complain without T. Complaint is a noun and to complain without T is a verb. For example, the same happens with Way To weigh is a verb and wait is a noun. And there is a bonus mistake. I'm going to give you another sentence. You're going to correct the mistake and leave the correct answer in the comments below. And the sentence is recycling makes a positive impact on the environment. I'm going to give the correct answer in the next video. So guys, how did it go? I hope very well. Let me know your score in the comments below. Please remember to give this video a huge thumbs up, 
to subscribe to the channel by clicking on this red button and check out my Instagram stories. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!